My name is Judith Gowdy, and I am a student at Grand Canyon University pursuing my master's degree in of secondary education with an emphasis on humanities and licensure. I'm pursuing this degree to become an art teacher. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing um, a few things in regards to teaching and professional disposition. So the first topic question that I wanna to touch base on is what is the teacher's role in supporting learning, improving planning, and practice upholding professional expectations and collaboratively advancing the profession. So I believe that the teacher's role plays a significant part in all of these areas. Um, teachers are to identify strengths and weaknesses and apply individual instruction, um, you know, with assessments and they use different methods of communication, they embrace diversity, um, they challenge students to gain knowledge and understanding. This is an important aspect of teaching because it is what provides a successful classroom but also successful students. The second topic question is what dispositions do I currently possess that I think will make me a successful teacher? And what dispositions can I work on with or before my first year of teaching? So some dispositions that I think I have that will make me a successful teacher is having a high expectation of myself, but also my students. Um, I also strongly believe in having respect, respect for myself and respect for others. Uh, not tolerating inappropriate behavior, but also making room for improvement. I also have a very high curiosity and I like to ask questions and I want my students to know the same. Um, the two that I can improve on is uh, having compassion and advocating. The final um, topic that I wanna touch base on is what effects could personal biases have on teachers and learning? And according to the expectations of this profession, how should biases be taken into perspective? So we all have our own worldviews that are influenced and shaped by our you know, values, our education, our family, our friends, and sometimes strangers. Um, this could be an unconscious bias it can be a stereotype, it can be a negative thought, it could be favoritism, it could be drawing conclusions or making sense of a behavior. Um, but you know, it's important to be self-aware of this and um, the expectation is to self-reflect and change these practices to eliminate the biases in the classroom. And instead of assuming and reacting or making sense of behavior, address the situation in a different manner. So that covers what the role of teachers is, in my opinion, um, what the dispositions are, and what my beliefs are on biases. Thanks for joining me. Bye.